This place is Builders Bay. <laughs> Why don't you start this over? Babe, you're a Builder Bay! <laughs> hey guys, we uh, welcome you into another video and another actually uh, home reno video. Scott and I are painting this gosh darn place. This place, I've had it for four years now. You moved in in May. Yeah. And as you can see, do you want to show them? It's this yeah. kind of dark gray color. But, I mean, it served its purpose. It was originally Builder's Beige when yeah. you moved in and you painted it this gray color. I'll kill the lights so you can see. It gets pretty dark pretty yeah. quick. So, we were thinking, no, this isn't an artistic choice. Oh! We want to paint it this gray color. Yeah, we really just want this space to be bright and welcoming and inviting. And we have a couple of ideas for areas that we want to make filming spots. So. Just one of those times when the universe is listening to you. Um, we had a friend reach out to us about a collaboration with this one group called Paint Your Paint, Paint My Condo. I was gonna say Paint Your Condo. It's called Paint My Condo, um, and we're getting a little bit of a deal when it comes to painting this this place. So they're gonna come in and they're gonna help us out. But in the meantime. We gotta move all this stuff. I know, we got a lot of stuff to move. We've done a really good job, honestly, as an update as well, moving in together. We've done a really good job purging some stuff, but now that I'm moving everything around, I'm like, you know when you get that just moving fatigue? You just buy a bunch That's of true. stuff and then you get fatigued, and then you purge a lot of stuff and then you get fatigued. Now I'm getting to the point where it's like, it's almost fall, we're almost about to get real real coats. You don't wanna purge stuff in the like, fall and winter, you wanna hibernate. You wanna hibernate, you wanna feel good about your space. We have a lot of ideas about this place, but as this intro and ramble just drones on, um, yeah. Can't wait to show you the after. <laughs> nice, <laughs> crush that. Yeah, I really did a good job there. We can't wait to show you the after of what this place looks like. You're resting your arm here, and I'm literally like, oh, F45, F45, F45. Okay, we'll see you guys soon. <laughs> change it is finally going to be white in here we have booked these guys for one day so we are hoping that it can be done recognizing this is a really big space especially when you look down the stairs this full wall oh, you know what not doing a good job showing you but anyways this is just such a big space so we purchased our paint just so we had it on site already not to waste any time so uh, hopefully when you're seeing the next clip, you'll be seeing some B-roll of the process, but then as well, the big reveal and a couple of things that we do within the space. We might not be able to get all our stuff back in place before the time that we actually go on um, a trip. We're going to BC to see our friend get married. So this might actually be a week later when we chat. Bye. Guys, we didn't end up getting all of our stuff done before we went on a trip. But instead, our painters were so great, they did it while we were gone. Why don't we review them now? Review them? Amazing. Okay, so we are basically going to be reviewing Paint My Condo and our experience with the company because I feel like this is such a big thing. Mm -hmm. When you put your home, which is your biggest investment you're probably ever gonna make in your life, in the hands of someone else to take care of it. And we couldn't be happier. It was so 
interesting to be gone and not know what our place looks like because we were at our friend's wedding in BC. So then we were thinking about, oh, I hope it looks good. And I gotta tell you, it looks incredible. So let's run down kind of first the process of what went on. So we were here for the first day. I showed you guys previously in this video, basically the scope of the space. We were hoping that it would be able to be done in one day, but obviously this is like a huge project. So it was a two day job. So run down our first day. Uh, Claudio came right on time. Uh, our place is like tucked behind the back, so he called me right on time and was like, I'm in the parking lot, just wondering where it is. So I went out and met him, such a nice guy. Uh, and then he came in and he had all of the gear. I am the worst painter in the world. I'm like the slowest painter, the sloppiest, and the worst painter. And this guy was You're good at so many things in life. But not painting. Painting is not one of those things that Scott thrives at. Uh, we had even bought extra paint, and on the first day I remember towards the end asking him, do you need us to tint uh, more of this paint or do you need us to buy more primer? And he knew exactly what he needed. He was like, no, nope, I don't need any more paint. I just need uh, one more gallon. And yeah, he was just an expert. He knew everything. I actually like that you pointed that out. Just as a side note, if you guys are doing home improvement and mm. painting is on your list, the reason why Scott said, do you want us to tint this paint or not, is because when you're buying paint by the leader, as a first time kind of homeowner with you, um, I didn't know this. You can buy the paint if it's mm -hmm. on sale. Don't tint it if you don't know if you're gonna need that much because you can actually return non-tinted but you can't return tinted paint. So that's what Scott was talking about. Mm -hmm. I think you can return some tinted paint but you just don't get that full refund. Oh really? So, uh, regardless. Just don't do it. Some tips. <laughs> uh, and so it, it was perfect. And then we, I mean, we even had extra we had to ask this poor guy, hi, so we're gonna leave you here. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna leave a key with our neighbor, then you can come in, you don't have to lock it. Like, we just, we he went above and beyond for us and we couldn't be happier. Yeah, so we basically had him come the first day, it was the 11th, and then we were leaving on a vacation on the 12th. So we were looking at each other saying, if this doesn't get done in the one day, because we still weren't sure, we connected with our neighbor downstairs and we would leave a key with her. This goes to show how much we trusted this guy mm -hmm. right off of first impressions. And I know maybe some people might not be comfortable with kind of leaving your home, but you know what? Um, he just, he just was so professional. He was a professional. He brought all of his gear with him. When we came home, because we actually came home a week after this was done, and that's nerve wracking too, because when you get contract work done, a big thing that you should be able to do is walk around and be like, okay, is this good enough? Do we need you to come back in or whatever? but never for a second have I looked around and thought that. When we first originally watched this guy start doing work, because it is pros before Joe's, this, these people that are hired by Paint My Condo aren't just random freelance people who said, I think I'm gonna paint for money. They're like professionals. Mm -hmm. Can you speak to just him walking around cover those holes, covering those holes, it was insane. Oh, when, when we came back, it was like, he had covered every tiny little hole. He was just meticulous the way he yeah. went around and made sure he found every little um, scratch or dent and just made sure he had covered all of them. I'll also say this, after the first day was done, he cleaned up, he vacuumed okay. everything. And I know that might sound like a little thing, but again, I'm not a good painter. It would have been so easy, I could see, to just leave things the way they are and now I'm gonna come back the next day and finish this. Our place looked Incredible. Spotless. Uh, after the first day, it was spotless. And then he came back and did the whole thing again. When we came home, all of the paint was stacked so neatly by the door. Uh, the used paint was ready to be thrown out. And so he just did such a great job. Yeah, he did such a great job. My dad's such a good painter when it comes to home stuff. You guys, if you follow my channel at all for a while, you see my dad spotlight in many of the home improvement videos. But I remember looking, calling my dad and being like, Dad, this guy is amazing. Mm -hmm. He went around, he covered every single hole. Um, he was so meticulous as well. We had a lot of paintings hanging up. Mm -hmm. So I just thought, I kind of just took them off the wall and put them to the side and thought that he would just leave the nails and the screws up just so we could put the, the paintings back up, back up. No, he took all those screws out. He covered them. He filled in the holes. You have no idea where paintings were hanging before. And now I see that as such a benefit mm -hmm. because now it's not like, oh, you're just taking off, putting it back on. We can kind of like style Decide. this place a little bit differently now. Mm -hmm. Would you hire paint my condo again? Heck yeah. Oh yeah. In a heartbeat. Yeah. If you have any painting needs and you're as terrible as I am, 
probably not as terrible as I am, but you should go pay my condo. Yeah, full disclosure, we did get a deal on this project, but I'm not the type of person who would say this in a review mm -hmm. if I genuinely didn't think it. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple of clips and as well in my blog, amandawalden.com, I've got photos of the place and it is phenomenal, the change. As well, we went from a really dark color to this white, this really bright white. Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, it's white, you can see it behind me. I'm probably overexposed here. But um, yeah, like you can't even tell at all. And we were saying just the edging and behind the fridge, it's like insane. We would have paint splattered everywhere. We also have dark floors, which is also an issue yeah. when you're using a roller and you're not very good and it just splatters everywhere and you get the speckles all over your face. So thank you, Pay My Condo. You were fantastic. Thank you. And so you guys believe us even more, we actually paid extra to make sure they could do this whole place mm -hmm. opposed to what the original blog contract was. Mm -hmm. Anyways, if you guys want to pay your condo, call Pay My Condo. I would do Not it. Not your condo. This condo's done. My condo. Do you have a condo? Your condo. Mm -hmm. That's right. My condo. We have so much more going on with this place because we actually want to do a little home a little home tour, but uh, for now it was just about, about the walls. This is phase one, so stay tuned for phase, phase two. We, we gotta hang stuff up. Yeah. Go. Go get it. Go, go hang, hang it. Hang. Go hang it up. Go. Hang. Bye, guys! <laughs>